This is not cool as of right now. I probably had to re-record this the last couple times because I'm trying to word everything the right way without being too mean, too, too much. But I think Eagle fans need to hear this. And I think some Eagle fans are either going to like this or not like this. So if I do hurt your feelings, I do apologize. Because at the end of the day, we all want this team to win a Super Bowl, okay? That's what we can all agree with. We might disagree on certain opinions. So please, just hear me out. No intro required for this because this has to go straight into the point of Seth Joyner's comments from the 49ers game on Sunday, how these DBs don't like to tackle. Okay? It already pissed me off enough that even before the game, when Bradbury was getting, like, literally bullied around in warm-ups and no one went to defend him, this team wasn't there for him. And the way that game went the loss is always a bad thing when you lose a football game terribly and getting your ass kicked but when you have no backbone no push off mentality no pushback mentality just no incentive to fucking punch somebody in their fucking face and you literally wait all game until the big dom situation happened where it just took the eagles to reality to say whoa we're actually in a fight right now. I, whoa, I mean, we're in a fight. I mean, we got to fight back, you know. But by that time, it was just too late for any of that to happen. So Slay goes on his podcast and says this. He says, I think I played a solid game. Could have made more plays. I had a great tackling day. I was tackling very, very well. A guy named Seth Joyner said, we don't want to tackle. I don't want, I don't know what kind of tackles he wants us to do. Getting a guy on the ground, getting a guy on the ground. I think I led the team in tackles. I think he played linebacker. They didn't teach guys how to tackle right back then. I don't want to be lowering my helmet down. I want to be able to talk to my kids. I don't want to be getting my team knocked out, getting a concussion protocol. You signed a contract. You signed a contract. The last thing, and look, there's going to be some really soft football fans out there but this is the softest shit I have ever heard from a so-called leader of this team. Because big play Slay is not playing so big play. Okay? He only gave up, what, 30-something yards against San Francisco. I get it. But if you're the leading tackler as a cornerback, that's not good. Okay? <laughs> a leading tackle tackler as a cornerback is, is not a good thing. I don't know if that's like a feather in your cap. It's a nice uh, reward or something. I think Eagle fans need to hear this. Okay? These older football players like Slay are looking towards retirement. They're looking towards being with their families and having, you know, nothing wrong with their bodies. And if that's going to be the case, then fucking leave the team. Seriously, dude. It's just one of those things where, like, if you're not willing to put... Once that helmet goes on and you sign that contract every single week, nothing... Of course, being safe is important, but you're going to base this off of, you know, you're not going to tackle a certain way because, you know, you're just going to want to, oh, as long as I can get the down, get the guy down in any way, shape or form, it's all that matters. Because when Debo was running up the field, Debo wanted a piece of the Eagles ass. That's what he wanted. He, Debo Samuel wanted the smoke. Okay. He wanted the smoke pretty damn much. And you know what you guys did? You, this is what you guys did. You literally, Debo, Debo. You're going to pay for what you did to Bradbury. You know, not even, not even that. I mean, that's just bullshit, dude. That's just total bullshit on how there's excuses now for not tackling, excuses to stay safe. Younger guys like Tariq Woolen, some of these other younger cornerbacks that, like, all I do is see them hit, fucking want to punch somebody in the mouth every time they get the football. I don't respect this shit at all. It's making us look really soft. The defense is, the scheme is as soft as baby shit as it is. But now having players, especially your so-called leaders, that are just separating themselves from, now it's not football. Now it's like, you want to be more safe 
then win a championship. You want to be more safe. Like, look, I understand. He's talking about his family. He wants to be held. I get it. Every sport has a consequence. Every sport, you are sacrificing your body. If you are the only, and I agree with Seth Joyner on this too because it is true, the only guy that is willing to sacrifice his body in this secondary is Reed Blankenship. That is the only player that is willing to sacrifice himself and take the big hit. Who cares, dude? It's part of the game. Concussions are part of the game. It happens. It happens. I don't want to be lowering my helmet. I don't you know you don't want to, you don't want to take a shot at somebody. You know, you don't want to take a shot at somebody. You just want to you want to defend your your fucking perimeter in this defense and just push them out of bounds or cut them off. Like that that's that's all that that's all you guys want to do. Well, that's really sad. I'm actually really sad that when you left to go to Baltimore and it almost happened that I was really pissed off and really wanted you back. And now I kind of regret that now. I kind of regret this whole entire damn thing now. Because you know what? That's where now because he said this, now I know where his focus is. His focus isn't playing for the Philadelphia Eagles. His focus is retirement, his future, making sure his body's right. And that's perfectly fine. But you know what? At the end of the day, dude, like, they sign you to the number one cornerback position, the cornerback one position to deal with anything that comes your way. And if you have to deal with it, then you deal with it. And this is not dealing with it. And if you're going to play this soft, pity, patty flag football, that's what you want to do. He would rather not tackle. He would rather push somebody out of bounds. He would rather cut off of, of uh, cut off of uh, off a perimeter and let other guys tackle him. That's the type of corner Slay is right now. People in the comments section are going to say, "Oh, that's horrible that you're saying this," but look at what he's saying. It's pretty much saying like. He's not giving us his all. It's not. If you're not tackling at 100 percent and you're and you don't want to lower your head and, and fucking pop somebody, then that's what you do. That's not football. Simple as that. This the this is why like I am on the verge to say, you know what? They have to revamp the cornerback position. They have to revamp the linebacker. The trenches are fine. The trenches are fine. I have no, the defensive line, good for years, not worried about it. The, the defensive coordinator has to change. The scheme has to change. And linebacker, safety, cornerback have to change. And you, they have to get younger corner. Younger, okay? It's just because the mentality is different. When you're an older cornerback, some guys are not. Some guys in the league that are older still try to play at a high level. That doesn't matter. They're, they're not going to give excuses. And for Slay to say this and give ex he should have just shut his mouth and just played football and that was it. So we didn't have to know any of this shit. But now since we know all this information, this is just – now I know what Slay is all about. Now I know that Slay is all about, ah, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fight with the Eagles over money this past offseason. They gave Slay more money this past offseason so he wouldn't go to the Ravens. They begged him to come back. I mean, not even begged him, but they, you know, he almost went to the Baltimore Ravens. His wife was upset that he was going to make this move. And then, you know, he got more guaranteed money. And this is what you say? You just came off one of the most embarrassing losses of the season, literally just got your shit pushed in, and now this is your answer to Seth Joyner? Seriously, Seth Joyner should be coaching this damn team right now. The tackling is god-awful. It has been. It has been. But to know that a player is not going to tackle a certain way because I'm thinking about my family and I'm thinking about this, and then don't, then leave. Then leave after this year because we're not here to get part time football players. Guys, I'm sorry, but if this is out of line, please tell me because when you're signing a contract for millions of dollars and you're playing for the Philadelphia Eagles and you tra and you put that football helmet on and you strap up, okay? You can't have somebody with an attitude like this. And because this scheme is so passive and it's so soft and it's, you know, all this shit that we were promised from Sean Desai, before the season started, it's making the players even more soft. 
and I'm not saying that everybody's like this. There could be more players that feel like this, but because Slay is older and he's not trying to screw up his body and sacrifice his body for another championship, then I don't fucking need you here. Simple as that. It happens. Shit happens. I've, I've, me personally, I've played football. I've overextended my knee. I've had hamstrings. I, I, I broke my hand. Like shit just happens, dude. It just happens. And because he's an, he's an older guy that's reaching as he's at the end of his career almost, he's going to, I'm going to play a little softer. And as long as I can get the guy down, I just get him down. You know, after getting 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 fucking yards. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's all that matters then. As long as you get the guy down. As long as you can stop him from the goal line to the goal line, who cares where he's at and how many yards he gets, right? Pitiful, man. It's pitiful. And I think a lot of Eagle fans need to hear this because that just shows you just how much of a shit show. I'm not even talking about the offense. How much of a shit show this defense is. And because when you don't play an aggressive style defense, it doesn't really. He's not built for that anymore. Probably not. I mean, he should have just shut his mouth and not said a damn thing about it. I'm trying to, like, be fair, but when I hear something like this, it's just excuses. He's worried about getting concussions, and he's worried about all this shit, and he's worried, like, but, but dude, like, you signed a contract to play, a, to play football at, your, at your, your fullest, and now you're making excuses how, you know, how you shouldn't get hurt and how you're not going to sacrifice your body for the team. You sacrifice your body every year. And that's the name of the game when you play football. That's the name of the game. Like I said, you play every fucking sport. That's what you do every single year. For millions. You're doing, you're what you want. You want to guarantee more money to, for less production? For less of yourself? If you think at your age that you can play and you can play 100% and hit somebody in the mouth every single play, I expect you to do that. And if you don't do that, then shame on you for not doing that. It's it's just one of those... I, I'm I'm just... I don't know. I don't know. I'm really just trying to figure out, like, I, I don't, I don't, I'm just talking about Slay, like, and the defense in general, but Slay more specifically, like, he, he got paid more money this offseason. He got paid, like, he almost went to the Ravens. And he, like, wanted more money. The best thinks he's one of the top, if he thinks he's one of the top corners in the league, great. And he deserves all that money great. But I'm expecting 100% out of every game. I'm not going to put my head down and go hit him. I mean, geez, I got a family. I mean, God, like, I got I to gotta go. I, I, you know, I'm going to have another 10 kids. I got I to go out and have more babies. I got to go do something else with myself. It's bullshit, dude. It's bullshit. And trust me, I'm speaking my mind right now. I don't give a fuck. People like it, don't like it. Walking, I'm not walking on eggshells. This shit literally pissed me off. And this, this attitude right here, that attitude explains what our defense is. Passive, soft, not willing to go the extra mile. And that's involving this defensive coordinator and Sean Desai. Can you win? Can you actually win a championship with this defense and this, this attitude? If you're so worried about injuries and you're so worried about how you tackle, you don't want to knock a guy on his ass and punch him in the mouth. And you're so worried about your, your appearance and, oh, I don't want to get my teeth knocked out. I don't like, that's just so like, what the fuck? What is that? Tell me what that is. Cause it's not football. It's it's you're gonna be some type of little diva because you don't want to ruin how you you know. I, seriously, go walk somewhere else, far away. 
far. Man, um, <laughs> I'm just like, I've had it with this team. That, that 49ers loss really fucking fucked me up. It screwed me up really bad. To a point where, like, if this goes into more games, if this starts to dr drip into other games of just this no heart passive play that we have been doing, I, I don't even know. Because getting scored six consecutive times on is not fantastic. Hope they show up more pissed off. But what Slay said really ticked me off. It's not a good look. It's not a good look for the rest of the year. I can tell you that much. We still, we're we're going to be in the playoffs. And th this, is, this is the attitude we have. I already know. I know. Bradbury gets gets bullied on in warm-ups and no Eagle players are... I mean, you let the 49ers swarm him and bump into him. No one does a fucking thing. That's fine. You know, it's perfectly fine. That's Philadelphia for you. And Slay? Mm. Nah. I'll support you the rest of the season, obviously, but after this year, yeah. I'm looking to revamp a lot of shit cornerback position, linebacker. It's time to go younger and go draft some guys that want to fucking knock somebody out. So you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys on the next one. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you on the next one. Uh, Seth Joyner, please be the defensive coordinator. Maybe. I don't know. Shit. He knows. I, I guess, you know, he knows what he's talking about, and I guess the truth is, uh, the truth is right there in front of us. So have a great day. Bye-bye.